contest is scheduled for six three-minute rounds in the Cruiserweight division. Brought to you by Red Boxing Promotions and Ray Box Promotions. Your judges at ringside are Damian Walton, Ron Scott Stevens, and Ray Amandez. Your third man in the ring is referee Sharon Sands. Fighting on the blue corner from Denver, Colorado, He's five foot ten inches. He weighs in at 199.2 pounds. He has a professional record of one win, two losses. Introducing Jarrell Nettles. <laughs> Finally on the red corner from Baldwin Park, California. He's five foot eleven inches. He weighs in at 179.4 pounds. He has a professional record of seven wins, no losses, and one draw, with seven wins by the way of knockout. Introducing Pudo Gajadilla Sergio Checo Jimenez. At this time, we're going to take final instructions from referee Sherry Sands. Fight fans, welcome back in. We have a six round fight. Sergio Jimenez, Jarrell Nettles, and yes, we did a little juggling in the schedule. This was scheduled to be our last fight. It is our second to the last now. And back with me, Matthew. Matthew, what did you find out? I don't know if the fight's gonna go through with uh, Anthony Casillas and Dante Dunville. Uh, there was almost an altercation in the back between both camps. Both camps had to be separated. Yeah, so they, they need to chill out for a little bit. Maybe cooler heads will prevail. Cause it's just one of them needs to change the gloves. Like that's it. Either, cause Casillas is complaining about his gloves aren't what he wanted. He took on the gloves that everyone else in the car was gonna take on. But Dante brought his own gloves, and he's thinking, well, I want the Cleto Reyes's for Anthony. I don't know if they're actually here, and that's the issue. If he had the Cleto's here, I think they would just change Anthony's gloves, and that'd be it. But it's just drama back there. Well, then I... But in the ring, it's action. The action is in the ring. I stand corrected. This may be our last match, folks, unfortunately. We'll get more information to you as we find it out, Ooh, as it good. looks right now. This Good might be the last shots. one. Good body shots there by Gerald Nettles. Absolutely, and he is in there with a one and two record. But a almost 20 pound advantage. And I think a lot of people don't know this, and I'll be honest, I did not even know this till weigh-ins yesterday, that there's usually a certain amount of weight that fighters can be a part, you know, in weight classes, and the fight will be allowed to go on. The commission will accept it. It's not too much of a weight difference. But once the weight class hits over 171 pounds on the contract, it's an infinite gap. So that gap could be 30, 40, 50 pounds if they wanted to. Uh, the commission just has to accept it. So in this case, the commission accepted the, the weight difference and the fight's on. And obviously the fighters have to accept it. Yes, yes, of course. So kudos, kudos to Sergio Jimenez for accepting this fight with an almost 20 pound disadvantage. And, I mean, his hometown crowd. I mean, this is a lot of fans here are for Sergio Jimenez. All the VIP tables, Sergio Jimenez, those are his fans out there. So, I mean, he definitely needs a shot here for his, for his family, his friends. Uh, and this is a tough opponent to do. Joe Nettles, even though he's one and two, he's looking good in here. Yes, he is, and he's up against someone who is seven and oh. One draw, six knockouts, and He's looking good against the undefeated fighter. And there's the end of round one. 
and there's so many times that you just can't judge, especially a newer fighter, by their one and two record, or even a two and one record. As we already seen earlier, we've we've seen some upsets. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And supposed to be upsets too. I mean, we should have more, but it's right. the judges. <laughs> Well, and I know they're, speaking of upset, there are some upset people in the back. Yes, there are. And uh, hopefully we'll have one more fight on the card for everyone here. If not, this will be our last fight. We're finding things out on the fly, folks. So right now we are beginning round number two in the six round fight here between Sergio, Sergio Jimenez and Jarrell Nettles. Nettles has a lot of speed on those shots. If I'm Sergio, I try going the body, take some wind out of those sails, drop that speed down from Joe Nettles. He'll be easier to deal with. Absolutely. And Nettles looks to be in excellent shape. We'll see where his cardio can take him. But at 199 pounds, he's carrying some weight. Good shot there by Sergio. Sergio's just laying in some shots. Not too technical, but they were landing. Oh, a quick left right there. And earlier on. Nettles was saying, come on, and <laughs> Sergio had no problems obliging. Sergio Jimenez is sort of like a well-known guy in the area for putting on gym rules, putting on just absolute slugfest in the gym. I mean, I, just a few weeks ago, I mean, I was a little bit worried, too, because it was, you know, two or three weeks before the, the fight, he put on a war in the gym. I mean, an absolute slugfest. Both guys bleeding. It was a hard sparring session. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy has two, two weeks to fight. Slow it down, Sergio. That's what he's known for. Grit and determination. Well, you can't fault him for that. That's absolutely true. Well, like the heart, like the determination. And hey, he may be the uh, closing event. That's absolutely we don't true. know. Well, I did see Coach Casillas walk out. So I'm, I'm going to assume this is our last fight. But after this round, I'll go in and check for the telecast. All the viewers at home, I don't want you guys just waiting for a fight that may not happen. Absolutely. We know. I'm sure they might have a, a Oh, oh he's hurt. He, oh, he's, he's hurt. in the corner. He is hurt. Because he has had him smiling there in the corner. Sergio landed a good right hand. Oh, yeah, no, he's, oh, done. oh he's, he's done. He's done. Yeah. He's done. Yeah, he's on his last legs right here. And there's... There's time, there's still time. Oh, oh good right hand him, there. Jimenez just unloading on the ropes. Big breath there by Jarrell Nettles. And Jarrell Nettles is already gassed. You can see it, he is sucking for air. And look at him, look, oh, look at him no, stagger no, to the back, back, you know. Yeah, he's... The refs are seriously thinking about just calling this off right now. Seriously consider, because uh, he's done. Yeah. He needs a sick of pork in that gentleman. He is done. He barely had any legs underneath him at the end of that round. We should not be sending him back in that condition. No. Sergio Jimenez just caught him continuously right there at the end of this round on the ropes. And uh, if there was anything left in Terrell Nettles at that point, I think all that took it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Anthony Casillas fight in Dante Dunville is canceled. I can safely that now. 
Yes, yeah, so I, I think I can agree with you on that, just judging from the... Uh, Anthony Casillas walking out, yep, yeah. Yeah, he's just walking past us. I don't, in his street clothes, I, I don't believe he's ready for a fight. No, no, gloves are off. No, yeah, the gloves are done. off, the clothes are on, the fight is off. Uh, it's unfortunate. And it looks like this fight might be done too. The, the doctor checking the, in. Oh, come on, stop. The, the referee looks uh, like... They're, they're letting it stop continue, it? no. You know, she's going to let it continue. Whoa. Oh. This poor guy. This might not be in the best interest of Jarrell Nettles. He was on rubber legs at the end of that last round. We're into round three. And I think one hard, is. clean shot is going to put him out. Or he's going to quit off that one hard shot. Either one. He has had a little time to recuperate, but doesn't look like he's uh, running on a full tank right now. No, and plus we have to factor in the fact that he did come in so drastically overweight. The fight was contracted for 186. He came at 199. So 13 pound difference. That's usually an indicator that a fighter is not training like he should be. Uh, absolutely, and, and again, when you're a bigger guy like that, you've got the, all that muscle that you're carrying. It's harder. Sergio Jimenez, Jarrell Nettles, round three. A minute left. And we're about one minute to go. And we'll be right smack dab oh. in the middle of this fight. And Jimenez unloading again on the, on the ropes. at Nettles, those hands are down. He has dropped his hands, and he is back up against the, oh, the ring ropes and just about fell out, and Jimenez is stalking him. He is stalking his prey. Not being quite as effective as he needs to be right now, but close. But close. And as long as Nettles is going to allow him to, to run him down like that, Jimenez is going to do it. That was a nice little right that slipped through. And there we have it, folks. Midway point of this six-round fight. Three rounds down, three rounds to go. And what will be our last fight of the evening. Last fight of the night. Last two rounds, or three rounds, I should say. Pretty dominant throwing from Sergio Jimenez so far. Yeah, I, I'm just really surprised that he caught past that last check from the doctor and, and the referee. Very yeah. surprised that they let the fight continue. Uh, he made it through. He survived the round. He's still here. And he's still here. So we'll see. Uh, Maybe he'll get a second win. You know, that does happen sometimes with fighters. They get a big, you know, adrenaline dump or. Whatever, and then they get that second win. It's a little bit harder in a six round fight, but it does happen. Oh, right hand lands by Sergio Menez. Clean. Once again, backing him up into the ropes, stalking his prey. He's just not giving Nettles any room to breathe, and he is on him, and Nettles has already been rocked. Yeah, Sergio doesn't need much here to really get Drill Nettles out of here. I just think it's a little bit of a sloppy work here that's that's 
hurting him on getting Jarrell Nettles out. If his technique was a little bit more clean, a little more polished, the combination a little more compact, I think he'd be getting him out here already. Absolutely, and he seems oh. to be head hunting, and I think a couple shots to the body might just go ahead and uh, help him finish this fight, but there he goes. He's got him on the ropes once again, and he's not letting him go. Oh, ref uh, is waving ref is, it off. Ref has waved it off, folks. There it is. Sergio Jimenez. Another he TKO win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sharon Tatsaw halt to this contest after 53 seconds in round number four. Your winner, by the way, of knockout, Sergio 